Uh, all right, people. Welcome back. More daily duels, and hopefully this will be on time. Ooh, we are going against the Nagus Specters. I wanted to see this deck. I totally wanted to see this deck because you know they have some good fit. They really do. You know that whole cannot be targeted or destroyed by opponent's card effect. That's like ooh, you know. We thought that uh, uh, Mecha Phantom Beasts were pretty good. I mean, they they, they can't even be targeted. Like ooh, they still be destroyed by battle, of course, but. Yeah, I want to see this deck. I want to see it. And he didn't send me back row either. It's not Magic Spectre, it's more of a back row deck. Of course, I really can't judge the deck right now. It has like, what, three monsters? <laughs> like, uh, you know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Anyway, we're back. Today is Monday. Hopefully on time. Well, at least it'll be on Monday. Shit. You know. Freaking the last two times it was not on Monday. So, at least this time it should be on Monday. And with it being on Monday, uh, that means that I will be okay, <laughs> and I wasn't too busy this Monday. Anyway, we're using trains, and as you saw with my hand, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Like, it might it might come down to what I draw, but, you know, the best I could do right now is, you know, summon the freaking Malefic. I almost said Majestic. <laughs> Malefic. <laughs> Damn you, Magic Specters, making me mess up what I was going to say. So, of course, he's just going to go to classic play, I'm assuming, just go ahead and... Oh, wait, no. Maybe he's not. Oh, okay. Never mind, I say Maybe he's not. Like, oh, never mind, he has to trade it. Good. Whew! Because if he didn't have to trade it... Oh, and the Institution. Alright, well, here comes Pleiades. Here comes Pleiades, here comes Pleiades, because I don't think he's doing the Infinity play anymore. Which is fine. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm sick and tired of Infinity, Tiago, sick and tired of Infinity, everybody in the mother is sick and tired of Infinity. And I don't want to be one of those guys, because I know exactly, even if it gets banned in the OTG, I know for damn sure people are just going to play OCG cards on the TCG list. So, if that actually happens and it ends up getting banned in OCG, I'm just going to start hosting TCG only, like, and just and just do TCG decks, because then I'm just asking for it, just doing, you know, TCG things on the OCG list, because then I'm just asking, please sir, please Infinity me. <laughs> So it's like, well, you know, it may be banning us, but here in the TCG, it's still at three. So it's like, it's not out, and only it's like coming out. So I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> so that Magic Spectre is gone. Of course, they are pendulums, so they go back. Oh, wow, he doesn't have a pendulum effect. It looks empty. Like, I'm used to normal monsters, you know, having. At least if they have a pendulum effect, they had something to describe them, but. This is a normal pendulum, it's weird. <laughs> so he's just empty. <laughs> he has no pendulum effect. It's weird. Like it looks like an empty box, I don't know what to say about that. So oh. okay, Tiago wants to take it slow. Oh he already normal summoned. He already normal summoned the God of Swords. That's why he didn't summon the God of Swords. I'm like, why didn't you do the God of Snap play? It's like you take it slow and like no. He already normal summon the God of Swords, so that's fine. So that means that he set up for next turn, you can just go Galaxy Knight summon uh Galaxy as bam there's a fell grand or whatever he wants to do, so not bad, not bad. He, 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 he done much better than I did. So, let's figure it out. Let's find out if that's actually back row, or, or is he just trying to bait us? You know, because generally, when it comes to Pleiades, what, you, what do you want to do? You want to bait the Pleiades. You want to get him to go ahead and use up all the extreme materials. Hmm. Hmm, well, I did not open up well at all, but you know what? I opened up decently enough with the Forbidden Lands and the Forbidden Chalice to be okay. So. Since Tiago has a monster, there's really no point in me keeping that, so I'll go ahead and grab him by Night Express Knight. The next turn I can go for an XE play, but this turn, I'm chill. What the hell's trying to go off in the graveyard? I guess Overlay Booster. Yeah. This card is in your graveyard. You can then target one for the Epic Seamux to control. Add Epic material and then get an attack for Epic material gain on it. I'll leave that alone. I have the Proven Lance, so let's see what it is. If it's something with a flip effect, what is this? Oh, just. Wait, is it Sirius or Procyon? It's Sirius, but it has the card of Procyon. Hmm, I mean, I mean, I, I, I updated my, uh, I updated my, uh, my YDL Pro, but maybe I didn't update something correctly? I'm not sure. <laughs> Set those two in a turn. Just in case Tiago's like, why'd you go for the attack? Like, I had the Lance. I had the Lance. So, clearly we're going against Tone Knights, and he looks like he didn't open up that well. Like I said, that deck needs to open up the Deneb to get the ball rolling. Without Deneb, 
Yeah, the snuggles. The snuggles. It's like it's like Shadal's without Shadal's season. It's just without a season, because it's like, what? What are you doing? It's just a slow flip death. Like, nah. Oh, so, without the Neb. You know. I mean, maybe he can go Altair, summon Sirius, go in the level chain, detach, send to the Neb, and then hopefully that's a call of the haunted. Hopefully. Ah, uh, so uh, let me see what this Magi 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 what Magi scepters Magi Magi I already forgot. Oh, it's either Magi scepter or Magi specter. Magi specter. All right, so he's gonna go ahead and set the crow. The pendulum's on. That's fine. No, no reason to stop that. Oh, I won't go. Please effect bounce it back to your hand. Why is he gonna fucking pendulum summon again? And then he put this, which is a pendulum scale two, so he can get pendulum scale. Pendulum summon two through five, so. Pendulum shotgun. And there's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> so he's gonna pendulum summon and he's gonna get all of his searches and stuff. All of his monsters are gonna be like effect, 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 because it's just says a normal or special summon. Like, whew! Yeah. Pendulum shotgun. It's fine. Oh. And then he can return a wind. Oh my god, dance is actually pretty good. Can you target a wind, return it to your, your hand, and then normal summon an additional one. So you can go ahead and return the raccoon and then summon the raccoon. That, that's pretty powerful, actually. That's that's oh. Oh, and then he has the freaking the bird man too. Ah, uh, I don't know what to do. Uh, clearly he's gonna go for something, but I'm just not sure. He could go for Yazi. Oh my god, if he goes for Yazi, then I'll just forbid Chalice the please during the uh, damage step. He wants to go for Black Rose and blow himself up, I don't care. Yeah. So, Quailing Synchro Dragon. Yazi, maybe. Synchro Shock. Alright, so this card special summon you can target one card in your Pendulum Zone special summon it. But this card cannot attack for the rest of the turn. And then if it attacks, so he's gonna go ahead and summon this guy. And when this card is normal or special summon, you can add one Magic Scepter card from your deck to your hand. Spell card from your deck to your hand. Ooh. Even if I bounce you, you're still gonna get your effect, so. I guess you can have that. And what I'm mad at. Can't target you. Okay. Probably could have forbidden chalices the meteor burst, but no, nah, it's okay. Go ahead and play Cyclone. Should be one wind monster. Which of course they tribute, they go back to the extra deck. Ooh. Yeah, that could, I can see how good this deck is. I can see it. Some this cat. So during his end phase, he can go ahead and add one's Magic Spectre card from his deck to his hand. They all search so well. Like, oh my god. Oh, well, he can't attack, so. I don't know what you're doing. He can't attack. <laughs> Got another one? Not too worried about the meteor burst right now. This isn't it really already did what it does. Now the question is well no that's land, so I'm gonna say now the question is should I bounce this card? You can't 
see you can attack. Alright. Just have to go ahead and ask Tiago if he wanted me to go ahead and bounce this new set. I, I have a feeling that he's just gonna go ahead and be like, alright, activate my trap card or my another cyclone, tribute my wind monster, and then and pop you or spin you or bounce you, so. This is really a point, because if he does that, then you can just chain it and bounce the media burst, so. That doesn't seem like Pleiades is too important right now. So next turn, I can go ahead and decide on which effect I want. If I don't want to pitch anything with in my hand, I can go ahead and just summon Night Express Knight, then he'll summon the crane, and I can go ahead and go into Dora. Of course, I can't uh, do any damage, but hey, I got a Dora, and there's nothing wrong with having a Dora, right? Alright, so he's gonna go ahead and declare the attack on the crow. And he's gonna be like, activate my Nutty Scepter Twister Tornado Spinny thing. Aren't they all like Twister, Tornado, and stuff like that? Aren't they all like. Yeah, tornado, twister. <laughs> There's one. Is there one called typhoon? <laughs> yeah, twister, typhoon, cyclone, tornado. <laughs> so what's this guy playing? I don't even remember what this guy was playing. Oh, color knight. That's right. I forgot his play. His opening play was so anticlimactic that I forgot. Show time. Is it show time? Ladies and gentlemen. He's gonna summon Vega. Okay. Activate Call of the Haunted. Okay. I don't see where he's going with this yet. Especially since he didn't use Vega effect. You got you clearly gotta plead these within the Tixi material staring you down, so. I'm assuming you're gonna try to go into like level train. I thought that was Call of the Haunted. I thought I could see those two into 101. Okay, like you're like we're gonna allow you to get that off. Like really? There's two Ximeteros and Pleiades Fight. Get the fuck out of here. So you nugged pretty hard. I'm assuming you're just gonna take your Meteor Burst and crash it. That's true, then go ahead and kill the Pleiades. You guys have been fighting it long enough. Like, this Pleiades has been sitting here on the field for a cool minute. Doing, just chilling, just chilling. Now he doesn't have any tele. Oh, and he's actually got a Forbidden Chalice block the, the Pleiades. Thought we were gonna save it for the monster effect. I mean, the Pleiades is applying pressure, but I'm not too worried about it, you know? I'm guessing, I'm assuming you have like a call to haunted or something. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and summon, summon, Exudora. Is it, I can't attack or I don't do any damage. They take no further battle damage. You know what, yeah. I'd rather go ahead and keep my plays up. I have Meteor Burst. So I'm assuming he has a call to haunted because he's like, I could just summon it back, you know, so. Please don't have an MST, that would suck so bad. The quest is up to be ranked six or higher, and all I have is five right now. <laughs> now the question is, is he gonna be like activate Call of the Haunted Summon and play Nova? Not whose card, which one of these cards is whose? This is his card. This is the Magic Scepter's card. I know that. I'm going to da -da 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 Dora. Thirty-two is enough. Well, I mean, we'll do it later. Burst. The power of burst. You want to chain anything? Chain something, or forever hold your peace. Go ahead, and chain that call the haunted. Go ahead and something back. I don't care. I'm still gonna kill you guys. It was breakthrough scale. Mmm, and wiretap. Mmm. Ah. 
Well, that Brecky seal is still gonna fuck me though. Like, cuts the crisis in the graveyard. No, 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 because I'd just be unaffected by other cards. But no, because if he does something. Ah, uh, how would that work? I don't know. I don't know how it's gonna work. It's gonna fuck me up though. That birthday skill though. Makes me wish I had another lance instead of another Forbidden Chalice, because this Forbidden Chalice ain't gonna do shit against these magic scepters. I'm just gonna go activate Dora effect, and he's gonna go chain birthday skill, and I'm gonna be like, fuck. Added Magic Scepter Monster, which of course you can add another monster to Pendulum Summon, then Pendulum Summon to shit back. Holy shit, this is a good deck. This is a good fucking deck. This is a good fucking deck. Just because they keep getting resources and keep going off. Like I said, Konami, the Pendulum Summon mechanic is ridiculous, but then you put an all Pendulum deck and it gets stupid. Like, oh my god. Like, just like Cleave, like they just keep on going back to their track. You're having to kill them back to their track, kill them back to their track. Like, holy shit. I yeah, just can like pendulum summon them back. Get all of their effects. Like, oh my god. Yeah, some crow back. Some cat back. Plus and plus and just straight and I can't target them. So I can't even see this chain them or break these skill them. Like this is this is this is this is some gay shit. Like this is this is booty. <laughs> like if they were any stronger. Yeah, now he can go ahead and play his Magic Spectre Storm, tribute one of him to shuffle one of the monsters back into the deck. And then if I'm gonna go Chain Door and then he's gonna Chain Break these Skill and then I'm still gonna be fucked, so. Ah, Break this Skill. Even with Dora, you still find some way to fuck me. Mm-hmm. Might as well chain it. Okay, he's gonna break the skill me anyway, so it doesn't even fucking matter. Mm-hmm. Makes me wish I had another lance. Makes me wish I had another lance. Ah. <sighs> So what does Tornado do? Tribute one. Tribute one winter and then target one monster your opponent controls banish it. He's gonna get another one. Like holy shit, this is annoying. I love Road Decree. <laughs> No, please, he's def most definitely gone. He's lasted on the field long enough. Now the question is, what are you gonna do? He's clearly gonna go ahead and play that and banish the Pleiades. Or any monster you see summon. And then search again, and plus again, and then search again, and then plus again. It's like it's like infinity. It's like every single time. It's just a little bit slower since he searched during the end phase, but still. You just know that another one is coming. And especially with the, their pendulum mechanic. It's like, mmm. Mm, mm, mm. Too fucking good. I have no idea what Tagger's gonna do. I guess he's just gonna keep playing and waiting for his opponent to go ahead and banish him. So, summon Galaxy Knight. Galaxy Knight effect. Still summon Galaxy Eyes. It's still summoned. So even if you banish it, it'll still get the effect. Best time to be able to play that is after the summon is resolved. Go ahead and play it now before it goes into a Felgrim. Because he'll go into a Felgrim. No? Alright, well, there's Felgrim. Mm, mm, mm. I'm definitely, definitely, definitely going to go ahead and. I'm going to use my Felt Spell next turn. The first effect, go ahead and pitch. Grab uh, the crane, summon the crane, and then go to door that way. That's so when I go door effect for the crane, I can go ahead and detach and pop one of those pendulum scales. 
Because at this point, it seems like I really want to get rid of them pendulum scales. Oh, all right. Well, it doesn't matter because it's just going to go ahead and chain. Help solve an effect, and then he'll just go typhoon effect. Chain typhoon. Yep. I mean, tornado. Yep. So, most definitely, most definitely, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, and the crane next turn. So the Tonite player doesn't do too much. Said, right now it's just been us versus this guy. The Magiceptor. Yeah, I wonder if who's break the skill that was. Probably the Tonite. Break the skill in the wiretap. I mean, I'm glad that I got rid of him. Because it'd been worse to face the break the skill twice and the wiretap. But yeah, at least we have, still have a Forbidden Chalice. I said, he hasn't got the nub yet, so I'm sitting here wondering, like, where, what's up? You're not really doing anything. Just gonna throw the regeki. Like, okay, I guess. That doesn't really change much. Go Vega, Vega, Vega summon. What? Vega? No! Man, you should've let him have Vega! You should've let him have Vega. Vega is fine. Like, I don't even know why you stopped that. Because then... He could have summoned an additional Tyranite monster out of his hand, which we want him to do, and then we could have forgiven and chased anything that he did to make him use more resources. Like, okay, well that stopped nothing. So I'm assuming you're gonna go ahead and Trevor or Delteros. Like, wow. Triv, and then put the fucking shit back. And pick something out of Tiago's hand. Took my fucking field spell. That's awesome. And then pick my field spell. Awesome. And then set his pendulum scales right back. Like, yes, man. This is stupid. God, you fucked up, Tiago. You fucked up. Like, there was no reason for you to fucking forbidden chalice that Triv. I mean, that, uh. That card. Well. Fuck okay. it. I stitch effort. He probably has a, a Nova, so. I really don't want him to get that Triv effect either, but no fucking choice. I, I have to. I have to push. Sucks. I don't. I don't want. I don't want it to end like this. Like there is no for reason for you forbidden Chalice have Vega. If he wanted to go ahead and overextend with the Vega, you know, he could have went Vega summon effect. That's fine. Altair. Altair effect, Forbidden Chalice. See? But no. Like, damn, Tiago. You done goofed. Summon. Summon. Like I said, do I want to take out that trip? Definitely not. But should I take out that trip? Yes. Yeah, so this summons a Tonerite monster from the graveyard. I might just leave it alone. Because if I kill the Triv, then he'll just go Triv, summon Altair, Altair, summon whoever, you know, and he'll get more plays than he had before. Well, if I let Ti go handle Oh, it summons from the grave, right? Right? Yeah, it summons from the grave, so it doesn't even fucking matter. It doesn't even fucking matter. Doesn't even fucking matter. If you can summon the fucking Tower Knight monsters from the graveyard, it doesn't fucking matter. Like I said, he wouldn't even be, he wouldn't even had Trev if Tiago didn't fuck up. Like, ah, see, this is the problem with not being able to talk to your tag partners. I was able to talk to Tiago. I've been like, no, leave the Vega alone. Let him summon from the hand. That's the same resource, not plusing or anything. You know, then whatever he summons from the hand, whether it be a Tower Knight monster, and then he exceeds, then you could have been jealous that, or you know, or Trev or whatever, but. God damn it! I really want to activate Dora. God damn it! Now he's just gonna be like pendulum summoning, and I can't respond to that. God damn it! I should have activated. 
I'm pressing the A button. I wanted to activate the effect during the draw phase, but once again, fucking YGO Pro, why you no fucking wow, wow, YGO Pro is so broken. I wanted to activate door effect during draw phase. Like you piece of fucking shit. I hate these automated shit. God, if I was sitting across the table doing someone, I would have went during your draw phase effect. But fucking animate, it's fucking automated. Like wow, wow, wow. Thanks, Death Pro. No, stupid. Oh, fucking stupid. Like, wow, Death Pro. Now look what we have to fucking face down. Thanks, Death Pro. All I had to do was fucking just destroy one of his pendulum zones. Like, oh my god. Fucking Death Pro. Like, well, we're probably gonna lose this. Like, look at this. Look at this. This man is going so plus. And we kill him and he punches something and he searches some more. And we kill him and he punches something and he searches some more. Like, we're fucked. We're fucking fucked. We're so fucked. We're fucking fucked. Like, wow, thank you fucking Dev Pro, fucking YG Pro for not allowing- I was holding the A button the entire fucking time, and it didn't allow me to get my effect. Like, wh what's the point of me holding A to activate, like, well, if I hold A, then it allows the fucking shit to be open game state. Dora can be activated during either player's during during either- e during either- any step. Any phase. Not any step. Any phase. So why wouldn't it let me activate during draw phase? During standby phase? Like, nah, nah, nah. Oh, he's pendulum summoning. He pendulum summoned. Do you have a response? Like, it's already fucking too late now. It uh, would have been better than sucking. Too late now, would have been better than just sitting here doing nothing. If he had another raccoon, then hey, he had another raccoon, but my god. This deck is ridiculous. They just don't have to bite that cleave hat, but then they have a whole bunch of good traps, bowing traps, removal. It's like, oh, tribute, your monster. Oh, it tributes, it goes back to the extra deck, you know? You want to throw some fucking cleaves in here? Shit. They get effects when they're tributed, like... This card is when this card is pressed, I'm gonna target one of your friends in the zone. Just on my attack, blah 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 blah. So that's during the end phase. And what do you do? You add one from your rear. Take your hand. <sighs> at this point, we're probably screwed. I said this magic specter guy beat both of our asses. He just kept on plussing. Kept on plusing. And we still gotta deal with the fucking uh telling that guy and this guy's probably gonna go ahead and set two back row. Oh thank you. Thank you. So now we can activate spell cards either. Yep. So of course they're spellcasters, and you know how healthy spellcasters are. Oh, this is a difficult duel. You say we can't activate spell cards, activate the effect of spell cards.
What happened? Why, why didn't you chain? Why didn't you chain? What happened? Oh. Oh. Oh, that's it. I mean, we were dueling against two decks that were clearly stronger than us anyway, and the Tone I got didn't even do that well. I just Tiago fucked up with the Forbidden Chalice, and then possibly my Decrane could have probably popped his Tundrum Scale. I'm not sure if he had another one or not, but could have done something. Oh well. Well, we lose. Yeah, it looks like Tiago's gonna try something. Well, he can go for another Felgrim. I'm all out of place. I have exasperated my resources. I I'm out. I am out of rec I am out of cards. It's gonna take me two turns to recover. going on forever. Nice top deck, but we'll definitely negate your fucking Deneb with Felgrand. Like, that's a given. That's a fucking given. Before you even think about getting any resources. Like, you've already been sh shitty in this duel. Like, the fucking Tone I play is the one that's bad in this duel. That hasn't really done much. And wouldn't have been able to do much. T I'm just like, Tago! Like, oh my god. Goblinburg. Okay, I guess. So I guess Goplinburg summon... I don't know. I don't know what you're doing. Oh, and now you want Dinab, like... But you didn't want it before. No, that's fine. Tiago, don't negate that. That's fine. Okay. Okay. Did this just say your opponent or just in general? No, your opponent cannot activate monster effects during the battle phase. Yep, we're fucked. Yep, Ragnar Zero, pop the fucking Felgram. Should activate it during the end of main phase. Wow. Fool you once, shame on them. Fool you twice, shame on you, Ti. Good job. Good job. Good job. That was your fault. Again. Whew. Ty was bad today. He is, he is just, mm. You could've went at the end of your main phase. Fell grand effect, you know? No, cause then he could've chained it. Is this supposed to be two? Yeah, it's supposed to be two. So, we are fucked either way. Oh, uh, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, we're fucked. We're completely and utterly fucked. Completely and utterly fucked. I didn't know he's gonna summon Ragnar Zero. So I guess I'll go ahead and crash into you and run over you. You have to kamikaze with you, and then you're off the field, so I just go ahead and pop you. Yep, the only guy next turn is gonna get his deneb, and this guy is already being redonkulous. Like, it's over. It's over. Uh, it's over for me anyway. Uh, shit, I top decked until I gear frame and got this playoff. Like, I was completely out of place. I only got two trains left. 
Usually you go into fucking Dora a couple times and it's over. Like, nope. So Dora and Felbrand a couple times, but still, it's all for naught. Actually, you know what? I should have killed the cat. I misplayed. If I would have killed the cat, then he would have to normal summon a cat to activate any spell cards. He needs to activate another pendulum zone. Ah, oh, fuck it. We're screwed anyway. It doesn't matter. I give up. <laughs> I give up. Oh, how I give up. We got our asses beat by Magic Scepters. The pendulum mechanic was too strong. I am completely out. I'm out of place. I am all played out. Kyoko still has cards, but I'm not sure how many left are combo pieces. And then that Tower Knight guy is drawing into a Dinab next turn, unless Kyoko can make him third. What would that, what would that be? The third Felgram? The third Felgram this duel? If he runs three Felgrams? No, that was only fresh Felgram. Oh, well, I think there's two Felgrams. Maybe because this fucking duel is fucking 30 something minutes. Go. Just win. Play the other pendulum if you got it, or tribute, or play your card, tribute, doesn't matter. You know, at least set your tornado. We know you got another tornado. A tornado would be good enough to go ahead and fuck us up. Wow, what the fuck? What happened? Did he just... Okay, he's now in main phase one. Like, what the fuck is going on? Like, play. End this duel already. I'll say, we're still sitting here? Yep. Yeah. I'm out of resources. Pens and summon, plus, plus, search, plus, 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 plus. That is ridiculous. I don't know how to spell ridiculous. I think it's like ridic you ridiculous, I think like that. I don't know how to spell. So broke. Just pendulum plus 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 plus. Oh, they're gone. Pendulum plus 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 plus. Pendulum plus 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 plus. Like ridiculous. So yeah, we're just gonna scoop it up. That's it. They won. They won, people. They won. So, guess we'll go ahead and call an episode. So apologize, but magic scepters are they're broke. They're broke. And you know why they're broke? Because they're all pendulum monsters. Like I said, and you stop doing that. Like pendulum monsters and the pendulum mechanic and they pendulum something back. Like it's all broken. It's a broken mechanic. It's probably the most broken mechanic in all of Yu-Gi-Oh, yeah. It's because it's like, oh, when they're destroyed, they go back to the extra deck, and then they summon back. Like, who thought of that? Like, oh my god, it's busted. And then they get effects when they summon too. Like, they're like they're like the antithesis of Cleez. It's just like, wow. All right. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and call it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the power of magic scepters. I said they're fucking. When the fucking Tony Knight guy didn't do anything, we literally got our ass beat by one fucking guy. Like, it's ridiculous. Ah. Uh, so thanks for watching thanks for all the support and uh yeah see you guys uh if i've seen you guys in the new video i'll see you guys with actual teller knights being played right hopefully because god his plays are just bad Tiago is just that trip should have never hit the field never hit the field he could have just went all right summon vega that's fine altair altair no yeah i mean, at that point didn't even really fucking care if he fucking, what, we had Pleiades on the field at that time? What, if he fucking, because what, he tripped and he returned, what? What did he return? He returned. He returned something on the field. At that point, I don't even care. You want to go ahead and go into 101 or whatever, fine. But, that trip should never hit the field. Tiago fucked up. Alright, people, thanks for watching.